Robots in the Stone Age. Imagine going to the publishers and telling them you want to make a game about robots in the Stone Age. As stupid as this shit sounds, my god, does it work? Horizon Zero Dawn is like Jurassic Park to the fusion with the Flintstones. So beautiful! I didn't play this game when it was first released in 2017, but now I finally had the chance. And off the bat, I was like, <laughs> What a ripple! She's an outcast to be shunned. How dare you shun So Ayla trained with Ross in a montage very similar to Tarzan. Ross would always have her back, protecting her with all his life. He's a father figure and a mentor to Ayla. He will grow up to become the greatest Nora the world has ever seen. Oh, no! Ross! No! 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 He, he just got stabbed! Oh my god! Oh my god! He, he, Ross just got stabbed. Oh, oh, okay, there he's dead. He's dead. Wow, wow. The father figure of the main character just died. Oh. The introduction was so well crafted and intriguing. Oh, I, I wanted to learn everything first. about this world. But then I played the game and I was like, this shit is boring. I absolutely hated it. But then I had a choice. Morpheus came to me and said, take the blue pill and stay dissatisfied and quick with your experience. Or take the red pill and play the game again. So I took the red pill and I was like shoo, 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 shoo. As soon as I woke up I played in a game and you gave but I Everything was so right, everything made more sense I was having the time of my life ladies and gentlemen The time of my life I just couldn't wait to be king I'm over here climbing this tall little robotic dinosaur And then the next minute I'm just exploring the vast open world And just admiring the beautiful graphics and then shit! I'm taking out an entire crop army of four machines! Jesus Christ almighty! It really goes to show that sometimes, sometimes you just gotta play the game twice before the first time you play it. Otherwise, you are brain dead piece of shit. That's it, just play the game twice. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. One thousand years later, and here I am trying to sneak past this machine so I just so I can get to my destination. God, death, please leave me alone. I hate the glove hogs. God damn it! They just piss you off every time. You just want to go somewhere. They just attack you. Oh. Oh man, I love that you can mount the horsey. Woo! I just took out the thunder jaw, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go, horsey. Come on, come on. Wait, where, where are you going? Wait, oh my, oh my god, where, where are you? Okay, wow, okay, just, oh, oh my piece of shit, just, it doesn't work. This whole scene just does not work. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this alligator, this alligator, stay with us, oh shit! The story is so interesting, but it's told in the most boring way imaginable, so which is hollow guns. <laughs> Give me like an animated cutscene or something. But it's good and will keep you interested. Uh, there are of course side stories that fill in the gaps like Aloy trying to find out who her mother is, but ends up knowing that she came out of a machine, probably like the one in the Matrix. Her trying to discover the ancient knowledge of the old ones with silence and helping Erend investigate his sister's death. Turns out she dies just in time when you find her. I bet she's gonna die as soon as he finds her. Yep. How predictable. Ursa. <laughs> How predictable. No, no. Please. You have big baddies like Helis, who's just a uh, Kotal Khan wannabe. Uh, I stabbed that bitch in the end. You killed Boss and you copied Kotal Khan. Ah! I will never forget you. <laughs> you can also get this ancient armor which grants you invincibility. I did this quest right before the last mission and boy is this shit overpowered! It works as a shield, uh, but once you take enough damage you have to let it keep down. You can take out the biggest machines like a muffin! <laughs> if you do get this armor just know that you will be playing the game on baby mode. You can look at these viewpoints which show what the deserted lands used to look like. There are so many machines to fight and run, with each 
have their own weaknesses, like, like fire, shock, or ice, or you can just, you know, tie them up in a rope. You can explore ruins and cauldrons, which will give you more overdrives for more machines, allowing you to control them. All right, watch this. This is my favorite thing to do in this game. Uh, what you want to do is place all these traps over here, and then... Ah! Uh, then they all start running. <laughs> Look at them go! <laughs> Look at them all! Oh my god! Oh my, this is so sad. Ah, ah, give me power! <laughs> feed me more! Feed me! You can take out these bandit cams which can either take 2 minutes or 20 minutes. Jimmy, stop the speed up! Shut up! Shut and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. It only took me 30 minutes because one of them set me a lot. Horizon Zero Dawn just does a lot of things that other games have already done, but uh, it's all mashed up and packaged so well that I give this game a 4 out of 7 Dragon Balls, and I just, I can't wait to play for Blender Blaze. Have you seen the gameplay of that shit? Like, come on, look at that glass and the shit, the graphics. Oh my god.